So in this video, we are going to see how we can use metadata extensions or uh, MDE with ABAP CDS views. A CDS metadata extension basically extends a CDS entity with uh, annotations and uh, they are not available in the CDS source code basically ABAP CDS source code and uh, uh, it's altogether a different object which is created and linked with ABAP CDS. Having said that, uh, these can also be transported separately. So if there is any change in the metadata extension or the like text or something, then you no need to transport the CDS views they are separately transported they can be separately transported there is no dependency so let's start let's first quickly create a simple cds view uh, i'm again using s flight table here so c underscore consumption underscore mde for s flight mde example and do a next add it to a transport uh, do a next and then we will be using a simple scenario here using a define view okay very first thing copy this and provide your sql view name by removing the underscores and making the name a little shorter of this and insert yeah so remove the unnecessary fields carrier id con id we will be keeping city from and city to and delete all of the other fields so this is a very small a CDS view which we have here and let's try to activate okay and uh, let's see the data preview so we got four different columns here now we will try to annotate these these four columns for our Fiori list report application so once this is done we will be using the same CDS view to create our list view application okay so now very first thing which we need to do to have a metadata extension uh, we need to add metadata allow extension to true annotation then only you will be able to use this CDS view with the metadata extension or you can create a metadata extension for this cds view okay now let's activate it it is activated and now we will be creating a metadata extension for this cds view so try again other and metadata extension next okay now it works so we'll give a name here what is the name let's remove this mde and metadata extension for uh, spfli table okay click on next add to the transport next and uh, we will be annotating a view uh, we will be giving annotations like for searching for column names and uh, for the detail view right so we will be using this annotation view option here we are not having any parameter or we are not using any entities so next now the view name we are writing this metadata extension for this specific view so this name must be same as our cds view basically okay now the element name let's just get rid of this 
and one important thing here is the metadata layer this is one thing which we need to keep in mind while doing a metadata extension because this can also be used to extend your uh, standard fury applications so whatever standard fury application metadata are there those are all under the core so whatever sap is providing they are all under the core namespace or the core layer of metadata right so whenever you are extending anything you need to change it and make it to partner basically what it happens is it it just checks the priority which metadata needs to be executed or which metadata needs to be used to display into the application okay so partner will take a priority over the core so we have changed it to partner now okay now here whatever fields we want let's just add all of those fields here so we have carrier id con id let's copy this and paste and get rid of all of these things so we have here four different fields okay now these needs to be annotated basically now uh, what are all elements you want like carrier id i want to have in the search field carrier id and con id and then all of these four fields will be in into the table okay so for that we will be having a uh, selection field annotation and the position where i need to display this is first position okay now the second thing is uh, i want to show it in the line item as well so line item and then position what position i need it on the first column basically now when i click on the line item i want to show the detail page as well with the selected record so for that i use the identification annotation and what text i want there for that we have a label id basically which will be carrier id okay so these annotations are done for carrier id okay so similarly we need to annotate all of the other fields as well okay and then just change the sequence of the column and this would be connection id and this is for ct from and then this is our fourth column and this is will be ct2 okay so now this our metadata extension file is done save the file and then activate okay so mde is activated here now let's quickly create an o data service for our cds view so that we can use this o data in our fury list report application so we will be using Oh, data publish is equal to true okay now activate so behind the scene it will activate the uh, the service okay and uh, let's copy this what it says does not exist has no primary key okay so we need to add a key here so we are making carrier id and con id let's format it and activate okay so this time this service has been activated and our o data service cds is activated and o data service has been created in the backend now if you 
click on go here and get this name then go to your service control C and control V and get service so now we got our service here click on add selected service we will be adding it to local object and click OK so now our service has been registered and metadata is loaded successfully now go back and uh, try to search the service again here okay so we got our service here and everything is activated system alias and everything if you want to check it just click on this button and uh, try to load the metadata execute okay we got a response of 200 here it means everything is fine now let's move to our web id e and uh, i'm using a local web id e install on my machine uh, i know this is absolute now and uh, bash is a new thing which is in but it is still good to be used for just practice purposes so let's create a new application here project from template we will be using list report click next give a name z m d e underscore demo metadata extension demo and com dot demo you can give any namespace here next now select the local backend system here which is above netware 7.5 i'm using i installed it on virtual box and uh, uh, our service was mde which service we have used cmde as flight mde as flight this is our service next and see we got our metadata extension file here with all the annotations which we have defined there click on next and select the data collection where our data is available basically the entity set if you can say click next and finish so our application is now ready let's try to run this okay Z demo MDE. So our application is running fine. We have got all of the four here. And then as soon as I click on go, yeah, we got all the data here. Okay, so these are all coming from our annotations which we have defined in our metadata extension file. For example, now if I do not want these two fields, I no need to touch to the CDS view I will just go to metadata extension and from there I will remove the CT from and the CT2 selection fields basically click on activate it is activated come back and refresh and yeah you got only two filter now we have removed and uh, when we click on this we should see the display page okay with all the details available frankfurt berlin frankfurt and all of these things so if you see here ct2 ct from connection id carrier id these are all coming from our metadata extension file so ct from ct2 connection id and carrier id that's all for now in this video
thanks for watching and if you like the content please subscribe and leave me a comment if you have anything if you want to share anything if you want to suggest anything comments are welcome thank you